When I think about strong women, my granny Sandra is definitely at the top of my list. I don't think I know another woman as strong as she is and that could have really overcome a lot of the things that she that she did. Any woman that can raise five boys and do that shit like a boss and not look like what she's been through, that's strong in my book. You know what I mean? Like, had it not been for her, my father wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? And her life wasn't always pretty. But my dad is a, is a successful man because of my granny's strength. I was way too young to remember, but according to the stories that I hear so much, I was my granny baby. She ain't play about me. She ain't play about combing my hair. You see, I got these little twigs combed up. I was bald headed, but granny made it do what it do. That's where I got my eyes from, y'all. Y'all can't really see it. the name of the dog food. DPS, y'all got my eyes. Look at my eyes. She got them from here. Okay, y'all. My shoe from when I was little. Isn't that too cute? So, let me show y'all my outfit today. Look at my granny did. She put a paper towel right here saying I'm coming too much skin. It's actually very funny for me to hear the stories about how my granny didn't play about my clothes, how I had my own section in her closet. <laughs> One time my mama told me, she was like, Sandra took a dress off of you before she sent you back home. Like, my granny did not play with the ruffles, the socks, and the shoes. Yeah, this is my granny room. She has a whole room for hats. I mean, it gets better. This is the jewelry room. Well, yeah, this is in my grandmother's house. Not for sale. This is. I feel like I've always been a daddy's girl. My daddy told me that when I was first, when I was born, he just his whole life. I was his whole life. He said he cut out a lot of partying and hanging out, and he would tell friends like, "Nah, man, I got my." I got my daughter. I can't I can't go with y'all. He also used to tell me about me running off his little girlfriends like is there's one story where some lady came up to me and was like, "Hey, Porsche, was she was she?" He told me he said, "Porsche, you gave that girl the craziest look." And he said, "That's how I judged women. If you ain't like them, they had to go." But it was different with my mama. Um she genuinely loved my daddy because of their friendship, which it was natural for her to fall in love with his child. And look at me, look how precious I was. <laughs> but this picture here, this is one of the times where she would drive to the country to get me. And she just picked me up and me and her, we went to glamour shots together. Like that's how deep the love goes here. And I don't think a lot of people know that or understand that about our story i've she's been in my life since the very beginning so that's why we don't do the stepmama and stepdaughter stuff my parents have been in the entertainment industry for as far as, as long as i can remember so naturally i was born into this life Uh, nothing major. <laughs> First time on a private jet. I've been able to travel around the world and experience things that I never could have really dreamed of because of the dues that they've paid in this industry. Um, I've been blessed to be able to work for them, to serve with them. Most of our lives were getting ready hotels, venues early morning, but we for sure had fun on tour. I decided to do this dumb ass shit. Tia way up there. Y'all, these heels, I'm so out of shape. It's not even funny. I done stopped and squatted. All right, senior citizens, go to bed. That's you. I see. You ain't gonna get no thing. I couldn't show you. That's how I'm a hip. I see you recording me. Oh, wait. Because I was unpacking this bag. What are you doing?
<laughs> Daddy loves when we record videos and pictures in his phone. He loves opening and his phone. I don't phone. like it when they get my stuff. Because it's in my phone, now it's on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's so ugly. Every city we tried to make sure that we got out and saw some of the city, we would go to the mall or just hang out because all we saw was mostly dressing rooms. <laughs> dressing rooms, venues, hotel rooms. Um, Mondays in the industry were off days, so this is what our Mondays would look like. Me and Tia shared everything, dressing rooms, she stayed talking to us because I kept a camera out because she was always doing something crazy. I mean, from morning to night, <laughs> I knew to have my camera on. My mama is probably one of the, if not the most anointed singer that I've ever heard or experienced in my life. And it was just amazing to see all of those other people share my same sentiments. If you've ever been to a man family show, then you know it was an experience from beginning to the end. You felt it. It was really hard on me as the girls started getting older to leave them. So I leaned on my princess the most. She's actually been babysitting my girls since they were, since they were born, you know what I mean? She made sure they got to still hang around their cousins. She kept them in the country, which is something that I truly, truly appreciate because I feel like it kept them connected to their roots and who they are. Like taking them to Itasca and Hillsboro to see my granny and their cousins on that side of my family. And I mean, they were in the country every weekend. If I'm on tour for months, I two or three times out of the month, I knew my kids were in the country and I wasn't mad about it at all. That's their roots. They were born there. I don't have very many favorite trips because I, I feel like I've been a lot of places, but the one trip I want to talk about is the Grammys. My mom was nominated for a Grammy one year, and I'm so glad I documented that whole experience because she won the Grammy. That was a really exciting time for us. I remember that like it was yesterday. Tiffany we had moved to New York and one year I feel like we went to New York like at least seven or eight times just for different different work events so I had Tiffany to take me where I wanted to ride the subway I wanted to go take a walk through Central Park I think I was watching too much sex in the city but I made her walk so much <laughs> me and little David we stayed playing if I wasn't knocking his hat off his head I was for sure doing trip cam videos and he I made him fold every single time every single time we literally grew up in this industry and now to be working together traveling together with my brother and sis with my babies that I couldn't have asked for a better situation I fell in love with clouds when I started flying One weekend, Madison and Riley went with their fathers for the weekend, and Kennedy didn't go, so I was able to take my first trip. To the White House. And it's my first time going on the airplane eagle to the White House. That was hands down one of my favorite trips, one of my favorite things to do. Just experience that with her. Um, L.A. was also another one of my favorite places. I visited every Nipsey Hussle mural. I went to see the stars and all the stuff I saw in Pretty Woman <laughs> is kind of what I wanted to do. So I snuck a way to do that. I've been able to meet some of the most amazing, impactful people. I've been able to be a part of productions and let my hair down. And, you know, I'm forever grateful for the industry, for my parents. That is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen.